What makes Springfield different, what makes Springfield special, is that no matter what the need, we do not push that child away. With our zero tolerance to exclusions, with our desire, with our passion to find a programme that stimulates that child to achieve more than they ever thought possible. It makes absolutely no difference what the background of the child, what complex need the child has. Springfields will find a way to educate uh, the young people. I insist on employing just the best staff members in my school. And I insist that my staff members are the equivalent of the SAS of the, um, of the military world. They have to be flexible, they have to be, be resilient, they have to face the challenges and never, never use complex needs or the children's issues as an excuse for underachievement. If you can cut the mustard here, if you can come up to my standards and expectations, then I expect my staff members to be world class. I don't think there's ever going to be any complacency here or resting on laurels. There's always, with young people at Springfields, a lot of work that's, that's got to be done. You know, we have to look at the curriculum, both as a whole and the individualised curriculums, and make sure that we're bringing in the best of those ideas which are being used nationally or locally looking at the best vocational programmes and all the ideas which you know exist which can help our young people. So that's really you know quite a sort of transformational job which is always ongoing. I think we're very fortunate at Springfields as well with having the main school. We have a personalised learning centre and a vocational centre which all help to cater for a personalised learning programme for each individual that comes to school. Um, it's been really interesting in the five years that I've taught you at Springfields how you see a young person start on their journey quite disaffected with education, maybe let down in the past or you know, all sorts of issues which hindered the learning. Um, how, how you put them back together, rebuild them and they have, a, you know, they have the opportunity to, um, to talk through and um, choose their educational path which they want to follow and linking that with maybe the work experience and having a mentor and you know um, going going through that sort of program starting at one point and then working through how they come out the other end um, finding a future going on to college through the positive sort of experiences that they've had along the way working with parents is central to our mission and I would say that probably 60-70% of my time is taking up working with parents. If a parent can trust me, they can trust the school, they can trust the staff. And obviously being a parent myself, we are the advocates for our children. We have to be the voice of reason. We have to be the supportive voice as parents. I have two sons that have come to Springfields over the last few years. Um, both of the boys are doing really, really well since they came here. They're now in an environment where they actually understand their needs and I can go off during the day and not actually have to worry that I'm going to get a phone call to come and deal with them or to take them home. The structure and the routine is what they actually needed to have and to have smaller class sizes and have people that actually understand their personal needs socially as well as educationally. So both of the boys have come on leaps and bounds. Um, the social lives are much better outside of school as well as inside of school. And they are learning, although they are still not up to the curriculum that they would be if they were outside and didn't have any issues, they are coming on much better than if they hadn't come here in the first place. I'm not actually sure what would have happened to them both had they not been put into this setting. So the staff and Mr Williams have been fantastic and the boys respect them as well, which is fantastic. Okay. Yes, Springfield School has made my son feel good about himself and accept himself the way he is and work on that. It's lifted his self-esteem and made him feel like he's a valuable, pleasant and happy person. That has taken a while, but it has given him an enormous boost to his self-confidence because of that. Springfields has changed our life enormously. 
My son was suicidal um, after being expelled from mainstream school. He didn't know how to behave, he didn't know how to mix with anyone, he hid in his bedroom for weeks on end, and our, our family life was a nightmare. Um, and then, since he came to school here, he's just learnt how to be himself and to enjoy mm. being himself, mm. and he is now knows how to be happy, to be sociable, to um, to just be a normal per member of society really and that impacts on everybody in our family. We're, we're generally a happy family. Um, the difference that Springfield's made in my life is um, I'm a lot better behaved, I like to play with my mates a lot more often and um, I'm never really getting in arguments as much as I would. Um, because before when I came here I was sulking, tent tantrums and anything like that. But I've been here almost three years now when schools really helped me with my behaviour difficulties. Um, the school has really helped me with my studies because um, like they help me with my writing, reading and speech. Um, there's a programme called Toe by Toe which helps you with your speech and reading. And um, I done I do writing every day, and um, a lot of English I've improved because that's mainly speech, language, and writing. And from year seven to eight, I got the most improved English reward, and I was really happy about that. So it definitely says I'm improving. Um. I, I'm like Corey, I've had really difficulties all my learning, I've had the, uh, I couldn't write at all, I couldn't spell, and everyone used to take the mick out of me, but now I'm starting to prove in, in my class, only me, there's eight of us in the whole school, do a, a door project, and I'm one of them, and since I've done, since I've done the door project in my English toe by toe thing, I've really in, in, improved, I can write now, better story, I can start to read and I'm in final reading and I'm in final all my life now and I want to grow up to be a work at the RSPCA. Mm -hmm.